And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sharima Vimer. That's right, it's been a while since we've played a Vyheimer deck. Uh, Vimer used to be a very popular deck with Ionia as the other region, and um, Vi and Heimer were two awesome champions, especially whenever Vi came out. Vi started with five health, and five health with tough for five mana was so hard to kill it, and it really dominated the board. But we don't see Vimer around too much anymore. But we're going to be playing a, a Vimer deck here with Sharima for our other region. Um, and I think it should should work pretty well. Uh, we're going to be playing this new card, Production Surge, which is going to be the first time that I've played this card. And I also think this card could be pretty sweet. So if we have a Heimerdinger in play, and then we play a 6 mana Production Surge, we would get 6 um, mana worth of turrets, so 6 power of turrets for Heimerdinger. But then also we would get the, since it would be 6 mana, then we would also get the, the um, 6 mana turret as well. And be able to play that, so it would be 12 total power of turrets. So we can level, so a Heimerdinger plus a 6 mana production surge will just level up um, Heimerdinger. But I think this is going to be just a good turn 3 play most of the time. You know, if we don't play anything on turn 1, don't play anything on turn 2, turn 3... You know how, like, with Heimerdinger decks and Lux decks, you know, you'd have, like, Remembrance as your turn three play? I think this can be kind of similar to that as, like, Production Surge as the, the turn three play gets six um, mana worth of turrets. And that can also, that can just help you get, like, multiple bodies for aggro decks that go wide. Um, I think that could be pretty good. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and give this a try. We got just, you know, a bunch of good Demacia and Sharima decks together, or cards together. And I think it should do pretty well. So here we go. Buy Heimer over in ranked. We'll go play our five games. All right, Thresh Nessus. Keep everything, I think. I think I like this hand. Hey, Arbnos. Yeah, this game has just so many good decks, and so you just kind of have to pick one that you like and, and uh, you know, stick with it, learn it, and learn the matchups and everything. It's better to stick with one deck than, like, move all over the place if you're, you know, if you're focused on leveling up or ranking up because, uh, you know, the more you play one deck, the more you really understand all the different matchups with it and the better you're going to be with it. The desert by my side. Don't want any of those. Quicksands are going to be pretty important for, uh, like, really for both their champions, but specifically Nasus. Right, I'm going to discard the Preservarium. The soul wears away like rains of sand. Okay, I have time to play that. Fall to pieces. Save me, Heimer. No, I didn't attack with my 2-3 into their things, because I, I liked just ending the turn and them not playing more stuff. So I do have another Heimer, but unfortunately I can't play Heimer plus Quicksand. Oh, that Ancient Hourglass would have been nice. Because if they're going to be playing Nasus here, I got to Quicksand it. Let's see, Quicksand... It's not like Hush, it doesn't get rid of the keywords. So 
I take seven. Let's go with the... What's the plot, I guess? What do we got? Tough? Plus one, plus one, or spell shield? Let's go with the plus one, plus one. Alright, so it's a 5-4 now. So let's just let them Let's just let them slay another thing. Ah. That's too bad I wanted that five one. The desert by my side. They're a Doom Keeper. That Doom Keeper to save them 11 life. Not the not the best looking game for us. But we shall see. So this is thing taking five. Let's do this. Let's keep this at it. Just ten ten. Things a seven two now. Just when I needed assistance, a sturdy construction. Okay. So let's have all these attack. Don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. So my plan is to kill them with the Hextech Transmogulator. And I'm protecting against Atrocity with Quicksand. So put them down to three. So I'm playing, I'm not sure what kind of, you know, like what all interaction they're going to be playing, but I'm just going to be going for it. It's going to be close. So it could be a second atrocity, in which case we lose. It is second atrocity. Oh, they went second. They didn't. Okay, they are killing me, right? Okay, yeah, never mind. I, I thought at first, because, you know, like, it, I thought they were atrocing the two one at first. The second one. Calculated. 
Okay, same matchup. Same matchup. If only Quicksand was Hush, right? Like, we would have been able to stay alive, and <laughs> we would have been able to kill the Nasus a lot easier. If only Quicksand was actually Hush against Nasus. Is Ballistic Bot too slow for this matchup? Maybe not. Territive improvement could be nice. Reaper is awesome. Not a bad turn one, two, three. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. So playing playing this thing just to save two life. I think there's a good chance that I'm gonna want that extra mana. Mystic Shot and Hourglass. I like both of those cards. Guess I'll go with the Mystic Shot. Can rely on you to but the Hourglass saving the Heimerdinger could be nice. Alright, I'll just take the pass. I was kind of planning on using this Thermogenic Beam to kill the Reaper, but I'll just take the pass. Taking away my things that can block these. Alright, so we take four right now, down to seven. I'm going to take five down to six. Probably don't want to play like a Thresh because then my Vi challenges it. <laughs> yeah, this Reaper card for a one drop is pretty awesome. That fearsome that it has. My dogs are having fun rolling around today. So they didn't have Atrocity, at least they didn't Atrocity last turn. Trying to kill my Heimerdinger. Yes, yes, again. <laughs> yeah, I could have blocked and leveled up Vi, but I. It's a weird attack by them that they let that attack happen. That the only reason to let that attack happen is they had some reason that they wanted me to block with the Vi. I don't know, and so I just. 
I just blocked over there. I, level up Vi does do the extra five damage to them, but it's not that important. But like, if I if I made that block, Vi would go down to I guess it would be at three health because it would go to the other one. I don't know. I just did the trade because we're gonna fill up our board anyway. Yeah, Black Spear. Black Spear is uh, certainly a possibility. That would kill my Heimer now, and you know they could have used that to kill Vi if I would have blocked with Vi. Maybe that's what they wanted. This deck usually does play a lot of Black Spears. The box. Thresh's champion spell. That's that's fine with me. My car costs seven. Could theoretically have lethal if they just go for like Nasus right here. We stand in the footprints of past oh, but we don't actually kill Nasus with this. Come close, and we finish it off with Thermogenic Beam. Or I could go Preserve. Yeah, we gotta do that. I was hoping to have Thermo for, like, the next thing. Like, if they played something else small, then I would Thermo the next thing that was small. But, yeah, I guess we're going to have to just... Thermo masses. And that's why I play, play that thing first, to level up Heimer, so that now that we get the 3-2 turret... Oh, yeah, All right, we're diverting all power to main laser, and that's going to be 20 damage. Tacking in right there. That was a good flash of brilliance. Lissandra Trundle. This deck's a difficult one to deal with with our mid-range decks. These are our champions. I know it's slow, but they're our champions. We have the Preservarium to help draw us cards. But it, our deck's just not really fast. Yeah, we could get, um, you know, Spell Shield with Payday. Or, like, uh, you can get, like, Regeneration, right? So we can have, like, Vi with Regeneration from, like, these Sweepers. Sorry, Puppy was barking at the back door. Come on, Pop. What are you doing barking at the back door? Come here. Come here. What are you doing barking at the back door? Are are any of these worth keeping? I don't, want to I don't know. Maybe not. You. I'll just take this ballistic block, but I'm not sure. See what I've learned? I'm not sure. This will take the chill off. That would be cool if we, yeah, we get the Flash of Brilliance into the six mana PNZ card that copies Follower and we can get a Watcher. That'd be cool. Usually they play the Watcher on their attack turn and then attack and, and kill. Yeah, but that could still be pretty cool. We have two iterative improvements. Two of those. Iterative. System upgrade. Vi stands for violence. King of trolls coming through. Wow, doesn't even care about Vi. They have the attack token turn 8 also. 
which is really bad. All right, so now we know they have multiple spectral matrons in hand. So this is just really bad. Overwhelmed by System of Faith. They take it to the gun show. Why, just one point two one gigahexes? Innovation must begin somewhere. Safety disengage. I tried being polite. Um. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I need to, I need to do damage to them. That's what I, I'm thinking. Pull three, three in quicksand to help buy level. But maybe it's. Okay, so yeah, so they're they're gonna be they're gonna be struggling with room. Just like we are. I mean I, I I'm gonna counter Avalanche. Don't need any of those. How do I win this game? So we know they have multiple spectral matrons. And a champion. Actually, win the game. Well, it's got to be that. Like, my only hope is like, you know, big vault breaker on the Vi. Can't waste all my mana on like thermogenic beam. Embrace the calm. Justice first hand. Trouble coming at ya. Alright, so my my best hope is having right negation against vengeance. If they have, you know, flash freeze, obviously I can't do anything about that. But this is my best hope. Hopefully it's just vengeance. In tomb. Well. I'm destroying a mana gem, I'm not killing an, an, you know, an ally and letting them kill the ally. Well. 
That was my best hope. That was a bad time to use that. Right? Because, like, wait, wait for me to play some of these other turrets. Alright, I don't... I don't really know how we stop... We know they have two matrons, so I don't really know what we do to stop matron watcher. You will do as I command. They make sure the matron or the watcher can't die to thermogenic beam. Oh no, Good game. Went for it and had right of negation protection, but they still got around that. Okay, playing some spiders. This is definitely much a much better matchup for us. We really can't stop the Watcher with our deck, but we can stop some spiders. Let's mulligan the Preservarium. We'll keep one drop, two drop Thermogenic Beam. Take some treasure. It's a good blocker versus fearsome stuff. Helps on curve. I can discard something that we don't need. No one's the wiser. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Don't touch it. That's a macro right there. Going with the ballistic bots, I can just go with that and thermo. We got pretty good blocks. All right, I don't think so too. Right in negation. See what I've learned? Hmm. It's not the best attack. But we against like this kind of burn deck with all these Doom Beast demolitionists, decimates, all that kind of stuff, you can't just like sit back and just let them kill you. Alright, so the fact that they're not blocking there is telling you to have Noxian Fervor. Right? I guess they had they had this thing stay alive too though. This, Can you improve perfection? Unless they think that maybe they just have like their one three block the the one one block the four three the next turn. Show. 
All right, so we mystic shot that thing. One one block three one 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 block four two one three block here. Cause I don't think I want to trade by. Probably not. But I okay. There we go. Okay, awesome. I ended up getting there. Yeah, that's definitely the kind of matchup that we would much rather face than the Watcher deck. Awesome. All right, another aggro deck. Another burn deck. This one's probably going to be even more burny. Right negation is good in the late game against burn spells, but like I said, that's for the late game. Blockers there against aggro for one card. I think we gotta take Heimer, especially with like these flash of brilliances. I'll finish the game out. It can be undone. Double Ballistic Bot. Gone Ballistic. I'll just take this. It's just one damage. Oh. Better run. So I was thinking like the 1-1 one, one could maybe block more than just one, one point of damage if I keep it alive for like the next turn to block. Man, I want to play Heimer here, but we, we just won't have good blocks there next turn. I do play Heimer. That's fine. I can do this. I mean, I could surge and just make a zero mana card. What's up, Saigumba? Come on, gotcha, gotcha. Nope. Use the gotcha there. Oh dear. I hope this works. And fire. I should play the bot first. Yeah, we could level Heimer, but then actually maybe I just do that before the flash. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's let's just do that. Alright, so I, I shouldn't have played this other flash. I should just wait till next turn and get 4-2. It's gonna kill me with burn spells. Just 
Speaking of burn spells, that's the kind of cards that we need. We need burn spells. There we go. We need removal. Spirit fire. So I can I can go like Spirit Fire, attack for like 16 unblockable, put them down to two, and then try to Mystic Shot kill them before and you know, hope they don't have the direct damage burn to kill me. I'm that's the line that I'm kinda of thinking. I think that's my line. You know, obviously not not attacking it, not letting them block with the Grenadier to do another point of damage to me. I think we have a very small chance of winning this game, but I think this is my best chance out of the small chances. I have my orders. Let's draw another Mystic Shot. Nope. Another Mystic Shot. Nope. Everything's in place. Alright, we gotta hope they can't kill me. Game over? Nah, I can. That was close. I like my line. I think that was the, the best line. I think that line gave me the best chance of winning. Against a burn deck with a ton of cards. Yeah, or even if we would have just found... Yeah, even if we would have found the deny. Okay, so 2-3 with Sharima Vimer. Not a bad record at all. Um, that Watcher deck's just going to be a really, really tough matchup. Very close one, though, against that burn deck. We almost got there. Um... Heimer and Vi, Heimerdinger and Vi are, are good, solid champions, and I think that Heimerdinger is still an underrated card, and this can be really good in like mid-rangey kind of matchups. Where it's going to struggle the most is, again, the, like the Watcher deck that can just combo kill you on turn 8. It's so hard to stop that in, you know, basically any region it's so hard to stop that, but particularly this one, it's, if you're not playing Targon. Um, but then, the, you know, the super, super fast aggro, like we saw with the last that last burn deck, that's going to be the other deck that you can struggle against. So we've, we face some tough matchups there. Um, but overall, I think our deck looked solid. A good, um, you know, good two and three. But I, I think it looked just fine. Um, this, yeah, I've, I've always been very happy with the ride negations. I could definitely see playing a third ride negation. Um, gotcha was a card that I wanted more of. Could see playing more of those as well. Um, you just wish this was like real hush, right? Because like if this was real hush, we would have beat the NASA deck. Um, you know how we lost the double atrocity. You like that's the that's the kind of thing. Is like we're we're just basically losing to, <laughs> like we're kind of losing to like the crappy ways to lose, right? Atrocity just complete nexus damage. Burn spells complete nexus damage. Or watcher just attack and your your deck is just gone, right? Like not like our <laughs> we're good against any decks that try to play somewhat fair, but. Yeah, if this was if this was actual hush against the Nasus deck, that would have been nice. Um, so yeah, I could see could see playing a third third right second gotcha. Uh, maybe like the the paydays didn't really look that good to be honest. I would I would probably just get rid of those, and that's that's probably where you could fit in some extra room. Probably just get rid of the paydays, play right and gotcha there. I think payday was better for this deck before it got nerfed, where it used to make two zero mana turrets as well. And so you could use those zero mana turrets to help challenge blockers and, and you know how you're going wide and use all your other turrets to do, deal damage. But I think that I think that just overall it it underperformed, and I'd rather just have another gotcha and another right instead. So there we go. That would be the, the small little change that we would do. And then maybe these right negations can help you out against these decimates and get excited and atrocities that are uh, killing you. Yeah, so I think that we're gonna be good against fair decks and you know maybe that ride negation can help you out a little bit more there too against the non-fair decks all right but anyway those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always leave those comments feel free to leave those comments i would appreciate that but thank you so much for watching some sharima vimer 
and I'll see you for the next video.